What are the thyroid secrets that you are not being told? Put down below whether you're hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, Hashimoto's, Graves, whatever it is, put that down below so everybody can see what they are dealing with. Now I'm gonna teach you the secrets that you're not being told. And these are things that should be told. You should know exactly what's going on, but you're not. So number one is TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, is not a thyroid hormone. It's a pituitary hormone that tells the thyroid what to do. So your doctor says, we are going going to change your thyroid medication based off your TSH to see what your thyroid's doing. But it's not. It's seeing what your pituitary is telling your thyroid to do. TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. It is not a thyroid hormone. It's a pituitary hormone. Number two is that thyroid medication that they just adjusted based off of a pituitary hormone is not thyroid medication. Put it down below. Which thyroid medication are you taking? Levothyroxine, Synthroid, Armor. We'll see who's got the, who's got the most common one. Uh, NP Thyroid, Tyrosine, Unithroid. Uh, what medication are you taking? Well, I'm here to tell you that is not thyroid medication. That is not a thyroid medication. A thyroid medication would imply it's going to help the thyroid. What this is is hormone replacement. So T4 hormone, that's the number one most common hormone coming out of the thyroid, levothyroxine, synthroid, unithroid, tyrosine. Those are all T4 hormones. So if you're taking one of those, you are taking hormone replacement. If you're taking Cytomel, that's T3. If you're taking NP thyroid armor, that's T3 and T4. <clears throat> so do not call it a thyroid medication. It will never help your thyroid. That'd be like me saying, you know what, lady? You have low estrogen which is produced in your ovaries. So we're gonna give you estrogen and call it ovary medication. That'd be weird. Nobody would say you're taking an ovary medication. No, you're taking estrogen hormone replacement. If you're taking T4 hormone replacement, that's levothyroxine. So it will never help your thyroid. It will not improve the function of your thyroid. A lot of people won't even make them feel that much better because the issue is not just a low hormone state. So people ask, well, why am I taking it? You're taking it because you have a low hormone state. And I'm not saying don't take this medication, but understand why you are taking it. So you're taking the T4 levothyroxine because your hormones are low in the bloodstream. Then your doctor says, okay, <clears throat> now, well, now you have this medication that's a hormone, and now you should feel good. Everything should be fine. And then you're like, well, hey, doc, but why am I low in the first place? And then this is the number three secret, is that Hashimoto's is not a thyroid disease. So many of you guys are dealing with Hashimoto's. If you have hypothyroid, 90% of you are going to be dealing with what is called Hashimoto's, which is autoimmune thyroid. So what does that mean? That means you have an autoimmune disease that's tagging your thyroid for destruction. Your body's destroying your thyroid, just like with MS, your myelin sheath, just like with rheumatoid arthritis, your joint, you are destroying your tissue. So Hashimoto's is not a thyroid disease. That'd be like calling MS a nerve disease or rheumatoid arthritis a joint disease. No, those are autoimmune diseases that are tagging and destroying those, those specific tissues. So you do not have a thyroid disease if you have Hashimoto's, you have an autoimmune disease. So change that thinking because instead of taking a thyroid medication, which is not actually a thyroid medication, it's hormone replacement, you're actually taking hormone replacement to replace what the body is destroying in the thyroid and not able to produce these hormones. So now you're going down this pathway. Get this. TSH is not a thyroid hormone, it's a pituitary hormone. You're not taking thyroid medication, you're taking thyroid hormone replacement. And number three, Hashimoto's is not a thyroid disease and 90% of you have Hashimoto's if you have hypothyroid. It is an autoimmune disease, so fix the underlying root cause. If you want my Thyroid Secrets Revealed webinar where I break all of this down, send me a DM with your email right now. I would love to get this over to you. And also tell me what you have going on. Send me a message. I would love to hear your story and help you get your life back. Take care, guys.